Hello all you beautiful people, how you doing today? This is Lava Temptress and welcome back to my channel. Or if you're new here, welcome. Hi. So today we're going to be playing game number seven in the April Humble Choice selection. This one's called In Other Waters by Jump Over the Age and Fellow Travelers. It does have very positive reviews. Um, it's out of 537, so not too bad. Uh, but it looks interesting. And if you've never been to one of these, here's what we do. I believe in the first 30 minutes of a game, you should be able to tell whether you're absolutely going to love it or not. And if they didn't, if you can't decide in the first 30 minutes, well, most of the time they haven't done a very good job. Or you were stuck in the tutorial. Yeah, no. But anyway, at the end of it, I will tell you exactly what I think of the game. And whether we're going to keep it or, or uninstall it. Uh, all the ones in April I have not played at all before, so yeah. They're all fresh. Let's get started and see what this is going to entail. I can tell you right off the bat, one thing I do not like, there is no option to turn down the sounds. That is really annoying to me. Why Why would a game company not put options in there? That's mm. So first mark, if you will, is that because I think that should never be left out of game design. You should always have always have options in there to turn down your at least audio settings. While it's doing this, it's supposed to take about five hours for the main story, seven hours for main plus extra, and for full completion is eight and a half hours. So not a terribly long game, but not you know, really, really short either, so. Uh, there aren't any time left. This is going to be more restrictive than you are used to, but you are resourceful. I know you. I'm sorry, Oki, but I can't let let them find you. Can't lose everything we've achieved. Help. Uh, obviously, it's... Um, and it keeps saying, okay, so maybe I should plug in my controller. Hold on, let me plug in my controller real quick. Said partial controller support, but apparently you need to. Okay, I have my Xbox One controller plugged in, so let's see if this works better. Hello, there's someone there. This is Dr. Ellery Voss. I urgently need all systems of the suit activating. I've been locked out, and I'm 20 meters below the surface here. I say again, this is Dr. Ellery Vast. Can anyone, any operator pers personas on the suit please respond? Okay, I'm pressing X. Please respond, I need assistance. Pilot authorization granted. Okay, so let's scan it. Scan and topography readings coming through looking good. Okay. Uh, let's do heading. I'm seeing the heading panel coming online. Excellent. Depth. Okay, good. The dive panel is active. Current reading of 20 meters. Uh, let's see. Oxygen. Oxygen panel is up and rebreather functioning. I'm off reserve oxygen now. Power. Power panel is activating. Plenty of juice. And a 
utilities. Utilities available. Let's see. Sampling, sample storage, terminate, terminal, and retrieval seem to be installed. All right. You don't seem to know what you're doing. You're not an operator, are you? Nope. Let's see. Operators are little more than voice activated system dialogues. They don't respond like this. I knew there was something strange about this suit when I got inside. It looks decades old. Look, we don't have time for this, so whatever programmer or system you are, I need you to work with me. You seem to respond to voice commands, so that's a start. I... we need to head north. I'll explain once we get going, but right now I'm locked out of half the systems of the suit. Someone, somehow, has rewritten the permissions to only respond to internal messaging. That means you. So I'm going to need you to take control. Let's get moving. Take me north into the reef. Okay, north. So... Active area. Okay. So why... Okay, so I don't understand. Is the is the yellow circle where we're supposed to be going? Hmm. Active area. Okay. Okay, so wait, if I push this down, scan with B. Okay, so Okay, so I can scan through the different things. Map data. Quest retrieval. Okay, this is not... To toggle button prompts, press back view at the same time. All right, can I... Okay, I'm trying to use keyboard and mouse here. That's not seeming to do much else either. Hmm. All right, let me let me see what I can find out cuz this doesn't really tell you what to do. Okay, so I clicked on this little thing here and clicked on this. 
So now it's taking it to it. I thought you had to actually move yourself, but apparently you have to like click where you want to go. All right, so if we do a scan, see like I clicked here, narrow pass, marked it, clicked here. So it's a matter of keep scanning, marking it, going towards it. Okay, we don't want to go backwards. Okay, right, let's scan. Obviously, we want to go here. I think it's easier to do mouse, apparently. See, now we're actually coming up on stuff. Look in the water, are those spores and those stalks of the west? They look like huge fungi. This is unbelievable. Actual alien life. How could Monet have kept this place a secret? Oh, I, I, is it going to be these graphics the whole time though? Okay, let's try to go here. First extra chapter for the life humanity has ever discovered. I don't think they liked me going over there. Oh. Hello, what's that? Oh, okay. Let's see if we can go over here. Fungal creatures made up of a series of stalks and plants. I wonder how they feed, how they grow, how they communicate. Uh, it needs to be so you keep scanning creatures. Once we've gathered enough data, I can name and log each species. No matter what happens here, this vital work. Data gathered. Okay, so. She something doesn't like it and keeps running away. Alright, so it's just telling us what kind of data it is. Bed of stocks, stock patch, bed of stocks, okay. Mm. <clears throat> Alright, well. <clears throat> I hate this game. I mean. If this is as, as advanced, I like a game with really great graphics. This is not that. Um, I don't like a whole point and click, pointless. To me, it's pointless. Some people might like this, but it's basically you're just going to point and explore stuff and read what it says. That's not the kind of game I like. So for the me, personally, I do not like this. I can already tell if this is what it's going to be like this is not my cup of tea at all. So this one's going to be a no. I'm going to immediately uninstall it. I can't stand it. This is poop. And let me just look because I know it's in the bundle this month. But this, here, here's my thing. This game is normally $14.99 if you were to get it and not get it like in a humble bundle like it was this month. So if you wanted to go purchase this game separately, it's $14.99, and this is the kind of game it is. I'm sorry, but no. I don't think this is maybe a $5 game. Even then, I probably wouldn't spend $5 on it. But that's just my opinion. If you guys like it, let me know down below. 
Or if you're in the same mind as me and mm, just know. Whatever your opinion is, the nice thing is we can all play so many different kinds of games. It does have positive reviews, so some people do like it. Now, of course, it only does have 537 reviews, so, you know, it's already been out for a year and that's all the reviews it has. But I can see why, because I'm not the type of person to put a bad review up there, but no. Um... I'm not gonna put it on Steam, but I'll, I'll definitely tell you on here. This this is just not even worth my time. I guess is the best way to put it. Not even worth my time. So yeah. But that's what I think. If you haven't already, don't forget to hit the subscribe button with the notification bell so you can see when all the new videos come out. Thanks so much for being here. I appreciate you. Until next time, this love attemptress. Don't get burned. Bye.